<laughs> I need some of that. That's got to rub off. You know what I've been doing lately is uh, sub-vocalizing. I learned it, like, the other day. But, like, um, something that brains do is that when they talk, they don't, like, digest things that they say. Like, when you're talking, it's not the same part of the brain as the part of the brain that is, like, receiving information. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Because, like, you know how people will be like, oh, have I told you the story? Like, they'll say that because they, they don't remember telling the story because they're not taking in that information when they're speaking, right? So, um, the parts of the brain that takes information and the parts of the brain that, like, is speaking, they don't, like, interact, right? So, what sub-vocalizing is, is, like, saying something under your breath so that, like, it's sort of, like, subliminally, like, implanting, like, thoughts for later, you know? Because, um... <laughs> It's it's something like do you know like uh like mantras like mantra like, like having a mantra yeah. it's like something that you chant and then like it kind of is instilled in you and you usually don't tell people what it is because then it loses its power but basically like yeah you just like tell yourself good things and then like you're planting the seeds of good thoughts yeah. basically so I've just been like I'm happy playing melee I'm happy playing <laughs> melee and I'll just be at work and be like. And literally, yeah, I hit ledge dashes all day, right? <laughs> like, literally stuff like that. And it's like, you just have to, like, reframe your thoughts so that, like, you cultivate, like, the right I agree with things, that, though. Yeah. And I think along the lines of goal setting, like, that is so important. Goal setting kills me, though. Kills if me? I, if I, because I, um, because then I put expectations on myself. I think goal setting is good for, like, wanting to see improvement, but, like, for making you feel better, it's, like, a different story. Because I'm always like, oh, I didn't meet my expectations, now I feel bad, because I'm not that, you know? Interesting. That's how I feel, though. Like, not everyone's the same, and, yeah, it just depends on whether you want to live, a, like, a value-based life or a, a um, what's it, a goals-based life. I definitely have issues, though, of thinking too numerical. Because, like, yep. all my life is music and streams mm. and getting paid because of that. And, like, lifting numbers. And <laughs> yeah, you, see, Jolly's got the right idea. You just set smaller goals mixed with bigger ones. All right, I think we are actually getting into it, though. And we do have a big match ahead of us. So this is the same as we have Caleb. Oh, my God. <laughs> Caleb. Deleted. The monster. Death touch. That was insane. What the fuck? What just happened? He's going hand bones. And then when I saw him in the corner and Peach was down smashing, I was like, shit, it's about to happen back to him. <laughs> I'm going to, like, adjust the white balance one. Yeah. I like how he fights out of corner over and over, that he's not rolling or trying to jump over. Oh, oh my god. Five up airs? That was actually a crazy first dog. I'm still reeling. What the fuck just happened? This is good for Caleb though, because, you know, long has it been since he's clutched one of these over Kath. How do you feel about him letting him go Dreamland? Um, well, you're gonna have to play it at some point. You may as well do it first, I guess. And then if you feel like you can do it again, then, you know, go for it. I mean, it didn't really matter in the first dog, eh? My girlfriend is being driven insane by Dreamland music. Yeah. We have this joke between me and my partner okay. that anytime like Dreamland music comes on and I make the joke about like how it's like a louder, like it's louder than like every other stage's music, like just purely sonically. Every time I start talking about that, like having that bit, she'll just be like, oh, did you know that this is the only stage with music? This is the only one. This is the only stage that has music in melee. It, it's actually the only stage. Just to like... <laughs> <laughs> Just to like hyperbole me. <laughs> it's really funny. You know, I don't know why, but my girlfriend really enjoys uh, Yoshi's story music. I think it's cute. Like, whenever I'm working on scenario. ledge dashes, she wants me to work on them on Yoshi's story. That's but bad, though. Because of Randall. <laughs> it's That's the bad. worst one. I mean, uh, not only that, but um, you practice a bad angle. Oh, because it allows it. Yeah, yeah. Cause, so, the hardest stages to ledge dash on are Dreamland and FD, actually. Because there's some angles that you can't do on these stages uh, compared to all the other ones. And Yoshi's has the most lenient angles. Um, do you think about that when you play? Do you think, oh, well, I just, kind of well, if I'm practicing, I'm going to practice on Dreamland and FD. Like for Ledge Dashes specifically, that's what I'll practice. And if I like miss it on these stages, then I know that it, like 
have to adjust what I'm doing, and so like I won't go for like the easy ones, you know. Okay. Oh my god, Caleb's got insane like knees in place, and like Kath is just running into her, but she's like evened it up pretty well. Oh, Kath is just so good at scrapping. And now the turn is coming to play. Oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> this is crazy. Make it stop. <coughs> Doosh. It's funny because Caleb and Scalpy play so different. <laughs> they do, and actually. the drift is so different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, one of them's on a box, but... True. Yeah, I definitely, like... Scalpy's got, like, really hard, like, full drift, obviously. <laughs> Caleb is... Caleb uses a bit more... Ah, oh, no, not the capture card. Oh, you hate to see this. Um, hopefully this doesn't fuck him up. Do you want me to watch uh, on the other no, no, stream no, 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 and narrate? Just, just, uh... Give me a second. I think I could just do this. Oh, we're fine. We back. Back like we never left. I think it... I think it did fuck up, but I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not mention it. <laughs> Just gonna hopefully not mention it. Because I think what's happening is something's updating on like this computer and it's fucking it up. I'm gonna open up Task Manager actually. Just end so many tasks. So many. Alright, we're we getting rid of Google Crash Handler. We're getting rid of Hamachi. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's the Java. It's Java that's fucking shit up. Alright. Catherine with the clutch though. That's cracked actually. After that first stock, that's gotta feel like a big call. LMI boost. Guardian service? I'm getting rid of that. For sure. Microsoft Photos? Get out of here. <laughs> Microsoft Edge is, is fucking active? No. Go away. Why is Microsoft Edge active? I fucking closed that shit ages ago. Get out of here. OneDrive? You're done. Skype? No. Be gone. Space desk? What is what is even space desk? I'm getting rid of you. And now the stream is going to run perfect with no hitches. Yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully. Kath up one though, after Caleb going crazy. Woo Caleb! Woo Caleb! I Let's go Caleb! Woo! I love how bad Caleb wants it. He plays so There's intense. probably not a single person that wants to win more than Caleb. And the saddest thing is, that's not what gets you games. You know, if, if it was like me, if I'm in a wanting to win competition and my opponent is Caleb, <laughs> I'm losing every time. Man, I wonder where I am. I want to win pretty bad, but my expectations are reasonable. Yeah, you can't, you can't want it too much. Then it's, you give up the ghost. It's like when you see the trophy, I don't know if you've ever, that's ever happened, but like, you're playing a set and you're like, imagine, you're like, oh, I could be the winner. <laughs> and then as soon as you start being like, oh, I could be the winner, it's over. Because you're not thinking about the game, you're just thinking, I could be the winner. And then you're not going to win, because you're not thinking about winning. Zara, I think Empty Head known to Zara is pretty good for um, not feeling bad about how the game's going. Oh my god, Caleb. Um, however, it's not good for, like, your, uh, oh, nice. You know when, like, you get pushed to the limit and you, you, you try harder than you've ever tried, right? It's not good for getting to have that, like, instinct, the ultra instinct, but it is pretty good just in general. Like, it has a lot of benefits. There is, like, an optimal arousal point that, like, every, like, competitor wants to kind of hit. I feel like because I'm poor at melee, it's like when I start feeling like I'm gonna win or have the possibility to win, it could be like a buff for me because I might be going into it with a mindset of like, oh, this is not gonna happen. Okay. Wow, Caleb actually could have literally you know, almost would have worked. Ah, uh, Mia's out of here. All right. Thanks for entering, Mia. I'll see you later. Um, what I was gonna say is, um, damn. By the way, this is close. Um, so what are we talking about? Oh, just uh, seeing the trophy. Was your yeah. Medicine. So, I think when you feel like you're playing good, that usually ends up meaning that you sort of play better because you have like good positive reinforcement. Yeah. 
you kind of like, oh, you know, like, I'm so, like things that I'm doing are sort of just working for me, right? And then, like, that goes away as soon as things start don't work, like, start not working out for you. That buff that you get is just sort of like, it evaporates pretty quick. This is hard though, like, Caleb was doing so well, like, for so long earlier, and now it's just like, bum bum. Must be all that. If Caleb can close the stock open. Oh no, not the down smash. Caleb. Woo. Caleb Boo. No, nice. Good up air. Oh. Right, he, can, he, can, he can still win this. Nice up air. Fucking scooped him. One big string out there is 80% each. Oh, the Lord Stomps. You know about those? Forward Stomps? The Lord Stomps. <laughs> you do them like reverse, basically, to catch people coming in. Because, uh,. Falcon's hurt box on his, like, the backside of his stomp is actually, like, a bit more uh, disjointed. So you, like, run away from people, you do a stomp, and then, like, like get hit more likely. 2 0 for Kath at the moment. It is looking pretty good for her. It's just that, like, uh, I want Caleb to win. He's been getting such good openings, and then just not clutching. Oh, nice! No! I hate a 0% stock for Caleb. And now, what's going to happen is that they're both going to play super different. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? After the first stock's over, and if you suicide that first stock away, fuck. Oh, nice. Alright, Caleb can still do this now. You've always got that random new factor. True. Oh. Oh. He's getting creative with his combos, true, but Kath is also... What do you find hard about hitting Kath, actually? Have you played it much? Uh, not enough to really know. Okay. It's for me. It's always just like, she just hits you when you don't expect. Like, you sort of are on top, and then like, things start like, kind of going bad for you pretty quick. Hey, what do you do the majority of your practice on that you come in and CRT feels good for you? Um, I don't play net play on the day that I have a tournament. And that's about it? Yep. Does Uncle Punch have the built-in two frames or not? If you are using Slippy, it will automatically do this proper delay. Like if you do like the faster melee Slippy build on your computer, yeah. it'll automatically do the delay if you just are not online as well now. So you don't have to worry about doing like a net play window anymore, um, which I used to do. So, so you it, just do it does have the two frames. Yeah. But to get rid of that, you just open up Dolphin directly and. Um, You'd have to open up Mainline Dolphin, but you wouldn't want to do that one, though. No? No. If you want to actually just practice on a CR2, you should just practice on a CR2. <laughs> that's, yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, I do all my, like, tech practice on a com uh, not on a computer, but I do all my, like, gaming, like, against people on the computer. So you should, you should just, like, try and get used to, like, both. Okay. Oh. Because, yeah, you know. It's, it's one of those things. It's just like you gotta, you gotta practice, and yeah, I find just playing on netplay is so different to playing on CRT. That if I play on netplay the day of I like having to play on CRT, um, my timing just feels a bit weird. Hmm. I agree with that. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, good DI! Wow, fucking amazing oh, DI! Oh shit! Recovery <laughs> of the gods. Oh, that was a fucking dash up grab, but it doesn't matter. Caleb actually cleans it up. Actually made that stock loss. Like, like it worked wonders for him. Nice. Rack it up. Just don't overcommit. Alright, let's see if you can point out any freebies that he's doing. That he's given up? Yeah. Let's see if you can point out Caleb's freebies. But you see what he's doing where he's like just doing pokes? Yeah. He's just kind of whiffing things at ranges that he thinks that I'm safe to do it. Where he can drift back. For yeah, him. exactly. And like be out of range. And so what Kath does is like she tries to be close enough to get like a dash attack to hit to hit those. Watch what happens. There? Yeah, yeah she keeps turning yeah. the needle. She like you, you threaten and then she goes in with a dash attack. It's a pretty like good game plan. So like, you're thinking that Caleb should put out less hitboxes? If he wants to bait a dash attack, yeah. You wanna just kinda of just do like a couple or one or two? <gasps> Let's go, Caleb! Finds the On the board! <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, you know, if he, if, he, if he does that, like, one or two, then you want to wait for Kath to kind of commit. That's how I would be thinking about it. But we got FD coming up now. A big game four. 
for the both of them, really. This is... yeah, it's tricky for Falcon here. Not getting to use platforms for combos kind of hurts. I just gotta put this in the bin. Yeah. Hold it down. <laughs> he keeps finding these reversal back airs from ledge. Big punish. Ooh, good bait. Falcon up air is rude. I definitely agree with that a little bit. Combos into everything, hey? What's up? Oh, yeah. Put the headset off. What can you tell me about the Falcon chain grab? The Falcon chain grab, like Peaches, it lasts yeah, till like 60 to 70, and then you have to like finish it with like a combo. Okay. Oh shit. But Catherine, not okay at it. Like she'll get the the chain grab, but she doesn't really have the end up. So the the real scary thing about the chain grab is like you get an up air at the end of it, and then yeah. up air can like combo into like an air or something, and then now the Falcon is like 90. The Falcon's like 90 and off stage, but if you're not that good at the end, it's only like 60%. Ooh. He's playing like he got extra lives. He is. Oh, he really is. Can't be throwing them away. Big knee. I thought he was going to read the roll in, but doesn't quite. Oh, that was almost cool if he landed with up air there, but the down smash catches him. Yeah, Catherine's running Peach is so down. hard in this spot because you're so scared of dash attack. But you also, that's the Peach knows that. Oh my god. 88 so much. We need to see a big back air, and we don't. Caleb gives up stage again, but yeah. Great shield grab. Oh, I hate the down air there. It's never going to work. Ooh, risky air. I love the grab. Knee grab there was really, really, really smart. I'm happy to see that. Nice, great dash dance now. Tries for a stop that time, which I think is smart. Gets a little bit lazy, needs to push into the corner a little bit more. But, that might be it. I've seen her drop these. This, uh, that's not enough. Oh, great falling. Oh, and gets the knee on the spot dodge, that's crazy. She gets normal get up. Oh, I like the grab idea there, actually. I love the stomp there. Up air, oh, needed slightly better spacing on that up air. You need to dash forward just a little bit more. I can't believe that that air spacing. Just got it, a chill grab. Oh, that up air. Careful, careful, careful. Our oh, ears takes swinging. the jump. Needs a big back here here. Like make it go to ledge and punish that? No. Needed to make it go to ledge and punish that. Forced to ledge? Okay. Because it, she didn't go to ledge, so if he co if he covered stage with that back air, he would have, like, either the Peach was getting bad and dying, or the Peach was um, at ledge. Hmm. You think you guys said much of value during me and Swagman's set? Should I watch that back, or should I just 